composing gloves here and I have an instance of Spire that is making a pretty cool sound and I've been processing it and I'd like to save this as a patcher preset. So how do you easily convert something? Cause this is typically how I'll do it. I realize afterwards I wanna make a patcher preset. How do you do that really fast and easily? Well, check it out. So we'll just go ahead, we'll load up a patcher and I'm using the synth patcher cause we're gonna have a synth in it. Open up your synth, and if you click in the little corner icon of the plugin, they're going to have a save preset as, and a little click drag. So you can actually drag this into Patcher, and now that instance of Spire has been copied into Patcher. And you can probably see where we're gonna go with this. So for the effects, we're gonna do the same thing. So this is in channel six, so we're gonna go over to channel six. We're gonna grab this EQ and we're going to grab the save preset as and drag it on. And if you drag it right onto the node, it'll actually insert it right there for you. So then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab the Saturn two. We're gonna drag this on and we'll move this over to the side. And then we'll go over here uh, and we'll drag the Fruity Love filter on there like so. Okay, so we're all out of room here. So let me give myself a little more room. We'll grab up like this, come in like that. We'll go in like that. We just need this node visible. If you wanna do the really fast drag and drop. And this is the last one that I'm using. So we're going to drag and drop like this. Now, if you had routing, in this case, this is for side shading and things like that, you're gonna to have to reset that up in Patcher, but getting all the effects and everything inside a Patcher instance is just, this just saves so much time doing it this way as opposed to the way I used to do it was I'd save every individual preset load them up it was way slower uh, I did try if you come into this icon up here and you go to the where are you save mixer track state is the thing that I want it's in here somewhere oh file here it is so they've got one here and you might think that this would grab the selected track state and then you could just drag and drop Alas, that doesn't work. Uh, maybe if you save it and then drop it, it'll work. I actually didn't try that. So maybe that's an even faster way, uh, but I'm pretty happy with just doing it this way. And of course, uh, I always get asked, what does this thing sound like that you have here? Because I've got this project sitting here. So let me just go ahead and play it for you. But that's how you save it very easily. So now we could come in, we could, you know, save preset as, save it as a patcher preset and away you go. You've, you've got it saved so you can open it up in other projects already set up and done and that's really great. Here's what this sounds like in case you were curious. Yeah, so it's actually pretty cool. We're going some neat places. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.